To this morning starts a 14-day quarantine or stay at home I guess you would call it here in Ohio um, the governor of Ohio mandated a stay at home uh, as of last night at midnight so I got sent home from work to work from home thankfully I can set up my computer I brought my monitors home and just decided I'm gonna make a real little home office and just try to be intentional about yeah, these next two weeks so that I stay productive. One of the things I thought that might help me stay productive is try to do a little video every day. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy for trying this, but I'm going to try it. And I think it would just be fun to every day have a couple projects that I do. Today I would like to, I started working on a basket wall last night. I was working on it late and I just need to finish that up. And uh, I would also like to work with my plants some today. I, they need to be transplanted. I mean, of course, I'll be working on the computer, but I'll probably be taking breaks. So yeah, I'm just looking forward to seeing what the next two weeks hold. And I would like to, sometime I'll do a spring tour in the next two weeks probably. And I would like to do a giveaway at some point as well. So stay tuned for that and hope you guys enjoy following along. behind me says joy <laughs> I don't know I was just thinking about the whole thing of staying home and I know it kind of tends to get to people and I don't know how I'm gonna do the next for two weeks to just be home a lot um, I am planning to spend a little time with my parents check in on them and be back and forth with them but otherwise I don't know how much I'm gonna see family or get out very much usually I really love to be at home so, but you know, even people who are homebodies and love to be at home need to see people and, and get, you know, need to get out sometimes. These baskets are all ones I had on hand and I was fine with the way it turned out, but probably once I can get out to Goodwill again, I'll be keeping an eye out for some new baskets I can use here and maybe adding to it or rearranging. You can't turn the tide to go where it wants to go You can run and hide You can bury yourself beneath the stones Somebody told me don't pretend Cause everyone can use a friend Sometimes take some good advice painted these pots last week one evening I just put a uh, thin layer of white paint on it just some paint I had on hand and then took a damp paper towel according to what I had read online that's how you're supposed to do it to just kind of give it that um, whitewashed look <laughs> Let me 
take a breath Let me be a part of something real mm-hmm. Someone said it's better when You hold on to a helping hand Sometimes we could all use a friend having a hard time knowing what to do with this planter. I just love it. Someone sent it to me um, uh, about a month ago and it said something about a belated secret sis and I have a feeling it was through a secret sister over Christmas that I had gotten it. I don't know who it was from but I love it and for some reason I'm just having a hard time knowing where to put it. So if you guys have a suggestion for me let me know. One of the perks from working from home is I got to see the first birds that came to my feeder. My sister got me this uh, window feeder for my birthday last week and I just put it up. It put, goes up very easy. It's just suction cups and it hangs on. It's a very strong um, suction. My mom gave me some leftover suet and I think that really helped them come. I had chickadees and nut hatches and a house finch and some, yeah, it just seemed to really draw the birds. My mom stopped in for a little bit and bless her heart, she got that thing hanging up there. I really like that. I think it those kind of plants look better hanging up. So I'm just kind of finishing up and I might actually, I don't know, I'd like to finish this tonight and get this mess out of here. So I'm finishing that up. The first day of work, working at home went pretty good. I didn't really get much done until about noon, <laughs> but I decided to give myself grace and um, for the first day that it's okay not to get a lot done for the first day at home and just kind of trying to get in the groove but I think I am gonna like this spot um, so we'll see how the next two weeks go got this one uh, a little bit thinned out that one always bothered me it's kind of it gets bushy and then the, the I was gonna say the feathers um the leaves kind of curl so I put one in there and one in this box back here that I kind of like and then the teardrops I did three of those so that's gonna take a little bit for them to look nice again but got those thinned out This here, I had, I need to water it again. I had trimmed that one and it hasn't grown back yet. It's like a, it's like a, oh, I can't think what it's called, a something Jew plant that my niece had given me a start. And it was getting so long and straggly. So I trimmed that one and we'll see if it 
comes back or not. Oh, mm -hmm.